What's up, you guys? We are back with episode four of Heartstopper. Y'all, the show is getting deep. It's getting so real. It's getting so serious. Last episode, Nick convinced Charlie to talk to his parents. And now, hopefully, he's on the path of getting the help that he needs for his mental health. Y'all, this show is doing such a good job depicting what real struggles are and real concerns are. Charlie feels like he doesn't want to talk to anybody because he feels like no one will care. Or, or what if his parents think he's faking it. So it's so good to see that journey of like him getting the confidence to go talk to his parents. And Nick being such a supportive boyfriend, I love watching that and I love seeing that. If you guys want to see this full uncut unedited reaction, they're all on my Patreon. The link will be in the description box. It's at Jason Reacts. Uh, and now let me shut up and let's get right into this episode. I'm so excited to see him. I can't believe it's been two months. Yeah. Oh, two months? It's so been a long two months. He was, Have you done anything? Or did he go to like a rehab? I really think I'm a journaling sort of person. <laughs> Everyone can journal, Nicholas. It helps you process your emotions. If I didn't journal every day, I'd literally have a breakdown. Oh, maybe I need to try that. <laughs> journaling. If I try it, will you stop pressuring me? <laughs> yes. You know that saying, things get worse before they get better? Yes, I do know that saying. I understand that now. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Back in September, Charlie had a GP appointment. GP appointment? He said he hates going to the doctors, who enjoys going to the doctors. Right. Must have gone okay, because he got referred to an eating disorder service. But the first appointment for that wasn't until January. Things started to get really bad after that. Oh no. His eating disorder got worse. Can you just stop trying? You can talk to us, Charlie. Yeah, we're just worried about you. What can you stop? I don't have to tell you everything. Then he started getting really angry. And then he stopped talking to me about it. So he started shutting down. He started skipping school a lot. Oh, that's such a horrible feeling. It was becoming unbearable for him. Sorry. I didn't mean to. And, you know, he told me he used to self-harm. It's okay. Did he start doing it again? I've been so horrible to you and everyone else. And I hate feeling like this. I read up about it online as well. That you had to make them feel cared for. Mm. Didn't feel like enough, but I guess I tried. He's trying his best. I love you. Well, every time they play songs, I mute the clip. So that's why the clip is muted. <gasps> She's cutting her hair. Oh, he's so like disassociated. The compulsions made no sense, but he didn't know how to stop them. It was an accident. I know. Oh. But I just feel so stupid. Not your fault. Oh, but I can't so stop it. <laughs> heavy, man. Maybe you should tell your parents. Dad. Get to skip school for a bit. It's like a bittersweet because you're gonna miss him so much, but you know he's there getting help. Not sure I can help it. Oh. He wasn't allowed his phone in there, so I couldn't even ask how he was. Oh no, he's gonna go down a rabbit hole of like crazy stories. I guess I tried to keep myself busy, or distracted, or both. <laughs> Do you think he's okay? At least he doesn't have to wait until January. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sorry, how much you played? That's super smash, bro. He's missed like the last four practices. Uh, he's just off sick at the moment. Must be bad if he's been off this long. Yeah, he's. But like, I don't want to talk about bad. it. What's going on? Don't want to talk about it. I can't. Um, I just can't really talk about it. Oh, good mate. Where have you? Oh, okay. That's a good response. Good friend. Charlie said I could tell our friends what was going on. They still found a way to show their support. Pretty box. Maybe we could put some self-care stuff. They're making a box for him for when he gets back. I'll make a book list for him. Oh, what about movies? Does he have access to a Blu-ray player? 
What's a Blu-ray player? I don't know what Blu-ray is. <laughs> Blu-ray player. Massive Halloween party. <clears throat> Imogen keeps on sending me couples costume ideas. So you're gonna come then? I don't know. I could use a night out. I know I could. You can use a distraction. I just... This feels weird. Without him. <laughs> Captain America. You're supposed to be my cat. <laughs> this is what we can find. Can we agree something? I'm making a video for Charlie so he knows how much we all love him. <laughs> Nicholas Nelson, what do you have to say to your boyfriend Charlie Spring? We miss you and love you. Poor Nick. Hi, Charlie. Nick Nelson loves Charlie. <laughs> Great, thank you. Our town, cool rabbit costume. Clearly Frank from Donnie Darko. Oh yeah, what was he? Oh, they going at it. Oh. Everyone kisses her. Everyone when they're drunk. I'm an art experiment. <laughs> Everyone kisses everyone when they're drunk. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, and who does he talk to about his mental health and his problems? He was trying so hard to be there for Charlie. Mind if I join? He kind of like neglected his own health. Confide in him. He can, he's, he can be a friend. Just needs a hug. Oh, he's crying. That's a lot. Charlie phoned me from the clinic for the first time. Well, next year, I'm going to make you go as Spider-Man. There is never going to work on me. Even if I go as Mary Jane? Do the upside down <laughs> kiss? Okay, maybe I can be persuaded. <laughs> so I have anorexia and OCD. Oh. Yeah, there's not really an unawkward way to say that. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I was a bit surprised about the OCD, but... It's like I have all these rules in my head about food, and if I don't follow them, I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I have to laugh about it or I'll just cry. Oh. Well, even if you do have anorexia and OCD, the word sorry is still banned. <laughs> no S word. No? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> the S word rule still applies to the mentally ill. <laughs> oh, at least they can make I some visit light about his family it. a couple times a week after that. Part of me wished I could go every day, but he needed space. <gasps> Charlie! Run and give him a hug. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> I knew he wasn't magically better or anything like that. I know it doesn't work like that, and I knew staying away from home was a risk. It could have been horrible. For some people, it doesn't help at all. True. Some people don't get better. Can you kiss me, please? Maybe it's just me hoping for the best, but honestly, I think it helped. I really do. Oh, he's journaling. He took the advice. It got worse before it got better. I guess a lot's happened since I last wrote anything. The past few months have not been great. Do you make yourself sick? No. Would you say that you're thinking about food almost all of the time? Yes. I think that's accurate. I said that was accurate, wasn't it, Charlie? 
I'm like, Mom, why are you answering for me? My therapist said I should write about it in my journal. Also, now this is Charlie's perspective. Charlie, it's hard to talk about it, though. Staying in the clinic for a couple of months was not my plan. But I should count myself lucky that my parents could even afford it. And that I went to one that actually managed to help me. Oh, it helped out. I've read online, some people come out of these places even worse than when they went in. Just got treated like shit. I didn't get treated like shit. Anything with a camera in, I'm afraid. It's for everyone's safety and well-being. So no fun. How do I talk to my friends? Well, there is a landline. A landline. Rise and shine, Mrs. Swift. It's a beautiful new day. Dang, so he really had to isolate himself from, like, the outside world. I... I'm gonna be your therapist while you're here. Should we sit down and get to know you? You can do it, Charlie. I think a part of me didn't even want to get better. Just putting in the effort to change seemed too hard. Wow, that's deep. I thought food was something I could control, but it was the other way around. I could have called Nick whenever I wanted. I was still feeling so horrible, I didn't want him to worry. For some people, an eating disorder is about body image. From my perspective, your eating disorder is connected to obsessions and compulsions the right thing at the right time and in the right circumstances wow that's where the ocd comes in i would have never thought that and when those obsessions become particularly intense that can trigger the urge to self-harm the actual eating disorder treatment stuff was not very fun oh he has what uh nick gave to him he sleeps next to it Nick really wants to talk to you. Yeah, I... I want to talk to him too. He's my favourite. Oh. Your friends are quite annoying. <laughs> I like him. He's my favourite. I let you call your boyfriend. Do you solemnly swear? Stop telling me how amazing and wonderful he is and making me feel forever alone. <laughs> me. Me. I tried to stand up for myself. <laughs> forever alone. I have to laugh about it or I'll just cry. Well, even if you do have anorexia, the word sorry is still banned. No, that's weird. Can't I play the mental illness card now? Mm -mm -mm. The S word rule still applies to the mentally ill. <laughs> Could you do me a favor before I go? Yeah, of course. Could you look up Tao's number? I've been making a present. You don't have to do that. Okay, what is it? Uh, it's a surprise. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. About all of this i didn't exactly make it easy for you we're having your summer of love yeah well i love you too <laughs> can i ask you how you are what was that kind of a shit question right now yeah it's kind of a shit question right now is it horrible there no it's hard and i wish it was at home but i think it was a good decision oh good i hate that you were so and I had no idea. I was good at hiding it. But I missed it. Oh, I don't feel guilty. Totally missed it. Don't feel guilty. Can you explain to me what happened with Imogen and Zahar? Because Nick was being way too empathetic about it. <laughs> He's like, spill the tea. Imogen was doing shots like all night. I mean, a whole bottle of tequila. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little awkward. Hi! He's got this vintage video camera and he's made the film or documentary. Okay, I'm intrigued. My name is Tao Su and this is my short film about the everyday lives of my friends group. Well, my friends group minus one, who we all love very much. Charlie. I hope that by watching this video, he'll feel like he's been here the whole time. Oh. In a metaphorical way, he has. Tell that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Isaac talking in the background, bro. Hey, Charlie. So, um, I read the Song of Achilles, like you suggested. I know you said it was going to have a sad ending, but, um, I wasn't prepared and I cried for about four hours. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm kind of mad at you, actually, because, um, 
Because I asked you if you were okay, and I guess you just lied. I mean, I, I sort of knew that. Uh, it's not oh. your fault, though, Charlie. I know. I just don't make it about yourself. I hope that when you get back, you don't feel like you have to lie to us anymore. Because you don't. We're never going to judge you. Oh, good friend. We need to do the tour. Oh. You take the camera. Yeah. Oh, you got it on video. I'll be in Dracula scene making out at house party. <laughs> Is this just a joke to you? What the fuck? Why she switch up so quick? Your vision. Hi, Charlie. To let you know that I'm trying out they them pronouns. Seeing how I feel, I don't know, but I feel like you get it. No. So I posted a new painting on Instagram. And now I have over 10,000 followers. Wow. It's a famous artist. 10,000's not that many. <laughs> Let me introduce you to Higgs, newest school prefect. Tao, it's not a big deal. Well, they're so nice for recording this for him because he did miss so much. She dances, she plays the clarinet. Jesse, stop. What are prefects? I don't know if you have a phone in there, Charlie. I think he'd like to hear your voice. I mean, they are from a packet bag. <laughs> the teachers cannot hide it. Uh, hi, Charlie. Oh, I was he trying to feed him? Hi, Charlie. Uh, there's a spare seat waiting for you for when you get back. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. Thank you, but if this turns wow. out really good, then I'm keeping it. Talented. I miss you, Charlie. I love you. Hi Charlie. Hi Charlie. I think this is the end of the video now. We just want to say that when you get home, we've got a lot planned. Do we? <laughs> oh God. No. There's just a lot to look forward to. That's what I mean. Yeah, definitely. And we love you. And we miss you. And our friends group really isn't the same without you. Mm. Wow. This is so like heartbreaking but so touching. That this video makes you feel loved. Yeah. By the way, I'm still mad at you about the Song of Achilles. <laughs> it's a book thing, don't worry about it. No, <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Nicholas Nelson, what do you have to say to your boyfriend, Charlie Sprague? I love you. Hi, Charlie. Mm -hmm. I love you. Oh, that was such a sweet ending. magically cure me of mental illness. I know it's scary, but you're ready for this, child. We can carry on our sessions once a week for as long as you need. So even if it's terrible, I'll be here to help. Oh, you are gonna be all right. Thank you. Just trust yourself, yeah? Kicking you out now. Okay. Hopefully he seems to be doing better. Maybe I won't ever get back to normal. Whatever that is. I think that's okay though. Yeah, whatever normal is. It's not gonna be a straightforward journey. It's probably just the beginning. Just the beginning, yes. Hey, dinner at seven? Yeah. Oh, maybe maybe him and his mom's relationship is gonna get better Mom. also. Do I have time to go and say hi to Nick? I'll be back for dinner. I, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Go on then. Ah! Oh my gosh! That long-awaited hug. If you or someone you know is struggling with an eating disorder, mental health, or thoughts of self-harm, information and resources are available at www.wantotalkaboutit.com. All right, this episode was a bit lighter than the last two, which were so heavy emotionally. Oh, I'm so glad that Charlie has these friends that are so supportive and are so encouraging of him 
They even filmed a whole video for him so when he gets back from treatment, he would have something to come back to and he wouldn't feel like he missed everything. Oh, that's so like impactful and I loved watching that. It's so sad to see how Nick carried all of this alone. He, he spent a lot of his time caring for Charlie and wanting Charlie to get better and didn't spend enough time focusing on his own pain and his own mental health. And like whenever he broke down and was crying with Tao, oh, that like broke my heart to see him like that because he cares and loves Charlie so much. It's just, it literally feels like I'm watching real people. I'm like so invested in this show. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see this full uncut and edited episode, they're all on my Patreon. The links will be in the description. It's at Jason Reacts. If you guys have any suggestions of what I should react to, leave them in the comments below. Let's talk in the comments, you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next Heartstopper episode. Bye.